Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to Worship Drumming. This is the channel to learn some of the most popular worship songs on the drums, as well as I do drum lessons based around a worship-centered context. And in today's video, I am actually not doing either of those things. I'm going to be doing a review on the in-ear monitors that I've been using for about a year. And then I'm also going to be giving away those same in-ear monitors along with a little accessory to go with them. Now things might look a little different here because I am at my new house. These are all things that will be talked about later at the end of the video. So we're going to review the in-ear monitors first. I'm going to talk about the details of the giveaway. And then at the end of the video, I'll talk about some things that you can be expecting coming up on the channel. So let's go ahead and hop over to the table and give these a review. All right, everyone, these are the in-ear monitors I've been using for about a year. These are the TRN V80s. Now, before I get into my review and talk about these and all the specs, um, I do want to say that I am not paid by anyone or this company to talk about these or even do the giveaway. These are just a product that I strongly believe in. And because of your guys' support of the channel, that is why I'm able to do this giveaway. And we'll talk about all that in just a minute. Before I give the complete specs and everything, I just want to give you the situations that I've used these in before, just so you can see and uh, how diverse these are. Well, I first started using these um, at the church I used to go to. I would bring the electronic kit that you guys see on the channel. And the main reason I wanted these is because I was tired of hearing my stick hit a rubber cymbal and the mesh heads and I could hear it over what the floor wedges were producing. So these gave some good isolation to be able to hear myself and completely cancel out that noise. And we'll talk about sort of the isolation of these in a minute. I will say everything wasn't just straight forward whenever setting this up. Um, it did take a little bit of adjustment to get these to sound good. Now, I don't think that that was the headphone fault. I think that the fault there was just having everything balanced uh, correctly because these headphones honestly sound amazing. Just when I first had everything plugged in, I was trying to get going with it. Uh, there was some distortion in places between uh, the bass guitar and the microphones. And I, if I remember correctly, it was literally just because we had things turned up too loud um, in certain spots with the way the audio was flowing to these. With a little bit of adjustment, we got them sounding amazing. And I was the only one on stage that used these. Now the church I go to, um, everyone uses in-ear monitors and it's an acoustic kit that I'm playing inside of a drum cage. So these give great isolation so you're not worried about your ears um, being damaged by the noise, the loud noises that an acoustic kit can produce. These do really well at isolating it and also it's just gonna make it sound really well. The acoustic kit, every drum is mic'd um, so I can hear it really well through these and I can hear everyone on stage really well through these and everything sounds pretty clear for the most part I would say. Now let's get into some of the uh, physical aspects of these. So these are very small whenever you look at them. Uh, you can see in my hand that just sort of this piece here and going around is the driver itself. Uh, whenever you open the box, if you ever buy these or if you win the giveaway today, um, you will get an idea of just how small these are. And so you see that I have a little bit of red here on mine. That's just from an experiment that I failed at whenever I was trying to make these into more like custom in your monitors. If you're interested in things like that, you can um, go check out videos on YouTube about it. And there's one hole up front. So that's just some residue left over of my failed attempt. But honestly, it has not affected the sound of these whatsoever. And I believe these holes are there maybe to just let some sound in and out so that way your ears aren't getting overwhelmed by the bass or the high end. Really great build quality there. I do believe it's an aluminum. So it's a little bit heavy, but it's not gonna weigh down your ear or hurt your ear or anything. And they are labeled right and left so you know which ear to put them in. Uh, and obviously they can only go in your right ear or your left ear. Then we have a two pin plug in here, which is actually very secure. And I did have a hard time plugging these in and I have a hard time removing them because just how tight it fits into there. And once again, also labeled right and left. So you cannot put them in the wrong ones. Going to this part, you see this uh, white plastic piece here. This is like a shrink wrap sort of thing. Cable is braided that it's shrink wrapped over, but most cables that you see or you've seen before, probably have some sort of metal wire in them to allow you to stretch it out and then it'll hold that position and then you can bend it around your ear real tight and it will hold it around your ear real tight. 
Well, these actually, are, because it's a plastic, it just always wants to go back to that cane shape. And honestly, you would think that doesn't create a very tight seal around your ear or a tight fit. It actually does create a very tight fit around your ear, um, especially once you get these in your ear um, pretty deep. You're not gonna worry about these falling out. I've played outside with these before and you know, did not worry once about these falling out. Um, the reason I say I played outside is because it was very hot that day. I was sweating a whole bunch and really getting into worship, uh, opening my mouth a lot and singing. And when you open your mouth, your ear canal actually opens up wider. Um, and yeah, I didn't have to worry about these falling out or anything. They were a very nice tight seal. Going down the cable, there is no adjustment to tighten these to the back of your head whenever you buy them. Um, but a hack that my worship leader came up with cause his little tightener broke on his, um, in your monitors is just, you put a little zip tie on there and then you can adjust them. So that's a cool thing if you want to be able to do that. But honestly, I never needed that. And even whenever I have it on here, I don't really notice a big difference if it's fitting tighter or not going down the cable. Uh, it does hit a distributor and it goes to a. Uh, just thicker braided cable here. The cable honestly feels kind of dainty whenever you first take it out, but this is my first pair of in-ear monitors, so I don't know if that's normal or not. And then we have this, uh, what is this? This is an eighth inch and it is stereo, so you can pan left and right. Um, they do sell configurations of these with microphones, which sounds kind of weird. I don't know why they do it, but using it for in-ear monitor purposes, you obviously do not need a microphone on there. Let's talk about real quick uh, the isolation and kind of the ear tips I have on here. These are not the ear tips that originally came with these. They come with three different sizes of silicone ear tips. And if God created you like he created me, um, he made one of your ear canals smaller than the other one. And so whenever you put the silicone tips in your ear, one of your ears is going to hurt because um, the tip is just too large to fit into that ear canal. So that's why I bought these foam tips to put on there. And so I can kind of, so what I usually do is I just squeeze these down and then I open up my mouth and then I just kind of jam that in my ear and then it will expand and give me a real nice seal. Now do I think that these seal better than a silicone tip? Uh, maybe, it's definitely a lot more comfortable though than a silicone tip. And so these are just white ones. The ones that will be with the giveaway today will be a black pair. The only difference between them is the color. And when I open these white ones, they smell kind of funny compared to the other like three pairs of black ones that I've bought. And I'll get more into these foam tips once we get to the giveaway. So now what you guys want to know is you probably want to know how these things sound. Do they work well? Um, yes, they do. And I have um, some Audio Technica M40Xs here that if you're an electronic drummer, you probably have heard of these. So these are sort of the um, quality budget over the ear headphones. And these are the quality budget in your monitors. So we'll kind of see how they stack up against each other. These headphones here are $100. And these here, uh, depending on the configuration you get, are 40 to 50 bucks. I think uh, these were like 45 or something like that. Um, so 100 bucks compared to like 45 bucks. So not even half the price. So... Obviously, when you have a bigger headphone like this, there's a lot more room to put drivers and all that sort of stuff in to get you a good sound quality. And some people even say that the M40X is better than its successor, which is the M50X. So we'll get a good idea of just how um, these stack up and how they sound. Let's start at the low end. Now, the winner of the low end goes to the TRN V80s. I was surprised at how much low end these things had. And I don't know if I talked about this earlier, the drivers in here, but there's two dynamic drivers and two balanced armature drivers. And now I think the company even says that things are kind of more lean toward the high end, but I don't hear that in these. Um, these actually produce a great amount of bass on the low end and can get real punchy. Um, the only reason I don't think that the Audio Technica wins there is because these can't create a seal in your ear like these can. Uh, these let out a lot of bass um, whenever you're trying to get that bass into your ear. There's just too much uh, room for it to escape. Whereas with these, it is really pushing that bass into your ear. And because there's a seal, no other noise can drown out uh, that bass. And so the bass is really nice on these. I was surprised um, at just how well it sounded. Am I saying that it sounds like um, a $700 pair of custom IEMs? 
I don't know. I've never owned them before, but I am very satisfied with the base response that I get from these. Now let's go to the mids. When it comes to the mids, I would say it's a tie between these two. The mids aren't going to blow you away. It's nothing super fantastic, but you're also not going to be like, man, the mids sound terrible. Honestly, it sounds great on either one of these. So with the TRNV80s, you're going to get some good mids, but it's nothing crazy and it's nothing super bad either. Now, when it comes to the high end, I have to give that to the Audio-Technica, but that's not necessarily a bad thing, and I'll talk about that here in just a second. The Audio-Technica M40Xs give a much higher quality sound, I would say. It's a lot more clear than these TRNV80s. Now, the reason that that's not necessarily a bad thing is the TRNV80s don't provide as much clarity and high-pitched sound through the cymbals. But for us that play worship music, we don't want those really high-pitched sounds. we rather it to be a little darker tones. I think Zildjian or uh, some company even makes uh, cymbals that are called worship cymbals, and they're even described as having a darker tone to them um, instead of being so high-pitched like other cymbals. So these sound really great all around for drummers that are playing worship music. These things are awesome, and I just love using them and i'm so glad that they're only like 50 bucks to me it's so much better than you know buying a pair of uh custom in-ear monitors that cost 300 dollars that take like a month to come in and only have two drivers in them that i'm sure might be more quality than those but just the time and the money spent on it i don't think it compares to just how uh cheap and great these things are here is what we are giving away in the giveaway um, you will obviously get a pair of TRN V80s. They will be the black pair. They do come in blue and red. I just think the black pair looks a little more professional on stage. So that's why I bought them to give away. And then you will also get the foam ear tips. Um, inside of here, there are small, medium, and large sizes of the ear tips. And that's just because I don't know who's going to win. So I don't know if they need small, medium, and larges. And you can also try them out and determine which one you like best. Uh, I'll just kind of show you what it's going to look like when you open them. So it's going to come in a little package like this. And I prefer the large ones because I think that they seal best. Now if I can open it here. And anyways, so yeah, you're going to get six pair. These are all larges. So you'll get uh, two small pairs, two medium pairs, and two large pairs inside of this box. So let's talk about the details of this giveaway. So this is obviously my first giveaway. And the only reason that this is possible is because of your guys' support of the channel. And you may be thinking like, how do I support the channel? Literally just subscribing, liking videos, just, just watching videos in general is a great way to support the channel. And just even leaving comments, letting me know if you guys really like the videos, if you wanna see more, so then I can make more videos and I can do more things like this and give back to you guys. So I thought it'd be real fun to do giveaway of these really cool in-ear monitors. So let's talk about how you can win the giveaway. I tried to do it through YouTube and stuff. Um, obviously, for all of you guys who subscribe, I really appreciate you, but the best way to do this, unfortunately, is gonna be on Instagram. I'll put my Instagram handle down below. It's just worship drumming is all you gotta go to. And I have a post that I made yesterday uh, just saying that I'm gonna give these away in today's video. And all you have to do on that post is just go leave a comment on there about the type of in-ear monitors that you use in your church. It might be the in-ear monitoring system or the type of headphones you have. Just leave something about the kind you have and we can uh, have conversation about those and how you like those. And if you've ever even used these, uh, mention that down there. So if you just say anything about in-ear monitors uh, on the comments, I'm going to assume that you wanna win this giveaway. I'm going to select a winner at random. Now you might say, hey, I don't use any in-ear monitors at my church. Well, that's totally cool. Just tell us how you are able to hear yourself at your church and just say, I don't have any in-ear monitors. So that's all you have to do. A um, Whoever leaves a comment will be selected at random. This will go for an entire week. Um, so since I made the post yesterday on Friday um, and this video is being posted on Saturday, I am going to let the competition run till Friday. And then the winner will be announced on Saturday after I randomly select who it is. Thank you guys just so much for all of your support 
and I'm going to go ahead and throw it back over to the drums and we're going to talk about a few things if you guys want to stick around for that. It's just going to be future things on the channel. I just wanted to take a moment to talk to you guys about some of the future things coming up on the channel. As you may notice, I'm in a completely different room than what you're used to. That's because I got married. If you noticed my last video about our honeymoon and our silly ukulele stuff. Um, so this is a new house and I'll give, be giving you guys a tour and everything. Uh, and maybe even talking a little bit more about how audio runs and everything. Also, I switched churches, as I mentioned a little bit when talking about the monitors. Um, I did that within this year, and I just kind of want to talk about the transition, why we did it, and just really the big thing is if you're considering doing this, just kind of giving you some helpful tips and things to know if it's even time to leave and just how to leave well because there was some things that I'll talk about later in videos that were really difficult for me just leaving uh, that church. Also, I have kind of this crazy random idea that I might go with. You might notice I have a guitar back there. And so a lot of us on that play an instrument, we usually want to learn another instrument. And so I've been playing guitar, honestly, maybe almost longer than I've been playing the drums, or at least I've been just kind of messing around with the guitar longer than I've been playing the drums. And so playing the drums taught me a lot how to play a guitar though. So I might be considering doing sort of some videos that's like guitar for drummers or something. I have no idea if I'm gonna go through with it or not. If you guys like that idea, uh, give a thumbs up on this video and just leave it in the comments saying yes I do want to learn how to play guitar and I'm a drummer uh, And I would say that you want to be a little bit of experienced of a drummer Because that's going to help you out a lot whenever you're learning how to play the guitar Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video and sticking around for this last little part Leave a thumbs up if you learned something new Go ahead and subscribe below if you're interested in more content like you saw in the video today. And it will also help us do more gives uh, it will also help us do more giveaway and fun things like that. And leave a comment about any questions or suggestions you have for the channel. Thank you guys so much for watching and supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video.